So Mid Journey just rolled out a very powerful feature that can zoom out your images from close up photo like this to a first iteration like this to even zooming out further like this to a point where it starts looking like this. You can actually zoom back even further if you'd like to. I'm going to very quickly show you how it's done. It's very simple. In order to do this, all you need to do is select the image you want to zoom out, right? So for example, you generate an image like this. Now, if you want to zoom out any of these images, you just click on the upscale version one, for example, right? So you click on U1. This will generate an upscaled version of that image for you, for example, this. And then, and then you click on zoom out 2x, zoom out 1.5 or even custom zoom if you would like. You know, it's also worth noting that one of the other updates for Mid Journey version 5.2 was the slash shorten prompt. Basically what this does is it will look at the entire prompt and figure out what words are not contributing for your image generation at all, right? So let's say we put this prompt. This is a huge prompt here. Um, you know, someone's running this prompt. I'm just gonna put this here with slash shorten and you can see um, that it, everything after this point is something Mid Journey is not even using in order to generate your image. So it kind of gives you insight in order to build a more ideal prompt for your image. For example, if full body portrait is important, you may want to put that earlier, most of these other words in the prompt. Let's say, let's do it for one more prompt. You can see it went ahead and canceled out most of the words from the prompt itself. It's kind of only using these prompts now you can use these prompts in order to generate a similar or maybe the same image uh, that you would otherwise generate with this huge prompt. This is a huge update um, giving us insight with respect to what really the model is using in order to generate your prompts. I'm going to use it very often. It will not only help me make my prompts a lot more precise, but also invest a relatively little time in order to write these prompts. Now let's pick an image and actually try to zoom out 6x of that image. Let's get started. Let's say we have this image. You can click on this button, zoom out 2x. You can see how it created a job where it's now taking the main image and it's creating a relevant environment around that image. You can see it generated four variations of the image. Now let's say we like this image. So we'll, we'll go ahead and do upscale for image number four. The reason I chose this image is that this image gives some context uh, both third and fourth, both second and fourth image give some context with respect to the next zoom out that we want to do for the image. We went ahead and upscaled this image. Now let's go ahead and zoom out even further. You can see how a new job is created with the original image in perspective and it's being zoomed out even further. Basically, as long as you maintain the context of the image, you can infinitely zoom out from the image. Obviously, you wouldn't want to do that. But before this, you had to do this, you had to use different tools like Leonardo in order to zoom out from the image. This is a huge update to Mid Journey version 5. It's almost done. So while we wait for this image to generate, if you're interested to stay ahead in Generative AI, we have a Discord community here. It's called Generative AI Revolution. I'll add the link in the description. Go ahead and join it. Generally, you get updates like these as soon as they go out if you are in the Generative AI Revolution group. Okay, so it looks like the image is now generated. You can see it's zoomed out even further. I'm going to try and zoom out even further because this image has some context. We're going to be using this image. We can also use the first one, but I think this one looks... Um, you know what, let's go ahead and use the first one. Click on the upscale button. The image is generated. You can go ahead and click on zoom out 2x. And this seems to be the image that is generated after zooming out for the third time. So I'm going to use the fourth image, upscale it, and I'm, I'm going to stop at that point. You can even zoom out further if you want, but I'm going to stop at this point. And I hope you understand how powerful this feature is especially when you want to generate more context around these images, you can literally infinitely keep zooming. It reminds me of one of those videos you see on the internet where you keep zooming in and you start seeing different things. I don't know what those videos are called, but they are, I think there might be some scope to use this feature in those scenarios. But yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for the video guys. I hope this was able to add value to you. Join our discord group if you're looking to stay ahead in AI, but otherwise this is going to be it guys. Thank you so much and have a good one.